it's Wendy Lou with the Certified PA. Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment on my page. I decided to make this video just to give you some general words, terminology, sentences, questions that we ask in Spanish. This is going to require that you practice, you watch the videos, you repeat, you listen over and over. There is one that is going to be a little bit more challenging at the end, but practice makes perfect, right? Let's get started. So, first of all, hello, my name is Wendy. I am a physician assistant. Hola, me llamo Wendy. Soy asociada médica. Do you remember we talked about this last time? Asociada médica because I am a female. What can I help you with? What can I help you with is con que le ayudo? Con que le ayudo? Con que le ayudo? What can I help you with? Do you take medicine? I could have said, do you take any medications? But the word medicamentos in Spanish is a little bit more difficult than medicina. And we're just trying to survive here. Do you take medicine is toma medicina? Simple. Toma, take. Toma is also drink. Medicina. Do you have allergies? Tiene alergias? Tiene is the word, do you have? Like, do you have pain? Tiene dolor. Do you have allergies? Tiene alergias? Have you had any surgeries? Ha tenido cirugías? We're getting medical history right here, right? Ha tenido cirugías? Don't worry about the spelling because you're just wanting to speak it and communicate it understand it but if you're like me and you catch the little details this is spelled with an s this is spelled with a c but the word is cirugias cirugias okay do you smoke usted fuma it could also be fuma usted usted fuma and fuma usted will be received just the same okay Next over here, we have, who do you live with? Con quien vive? Who do you live with? Con quien vive? Do you have pets? Do you have pets? Tiene mascotas? Once again, it's tiene, have, right? Tiene dolor? Tiene alergias? Simple. Tiene mascotas? Like mascots. You could also say, tiene perro, dog, tiene gato, cat, but mascotas will be received the same. Any medical, and here I left it blank because here what I'm asking is, do you have any medical history? But the correct translation is going to be, tiene historia medica, and that's a little bit too complicated. So I left it blank because I want you to know, Alguna diagnosis medica is actually any medical diagnosis, diagnosis. So if you're asking a patient if they have any medical diagnosis that you should know about, you could just simply say alguna diagnosis medica and then give some examples like diabetes or hypertension or um, lipidemia, right? So any medical diagnoses or any medical history would be alguna diagnosis medica. Alguna diagnosis medica is the most simple way I could think for someone to say something in Spanish when they're not a native speaker. Does anyone in your home smoke? This is the bonus. Why is this the bonus? Because it's a little longer. So, Alguien en su casa fuma? Compared to, do you smoke? Usted fuma? Alguien en su casa fuma is a little more complicated. But play this over and over and go ahead and repeat this. Does anyone in your home smoke? Alguien en su casa fuma? That's almost 
directly translate it. So just make sure you keep practicing those. All right, everyone. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, and comment. Let me know if this is helping you. All right. See you next time.